Are you in a safe sector? Are you alone? Before I go further, please perform a final security check. Good. If you can see me now, my portable server is working, and there's still hope. They're coming for me. They should be here any second. Since the Telecommunications Act of 96, the media monopoly, as you know, is almost complete. Every pixel of the screen you're watching is now owned by the megacorp entities. The recent execution of the pirate broadcaster John Geller from Seattle has sent chills through our community. Of course, the electrocution was broadcast live by AOL Time Warner and rapidly watched by three out of every five humans on the planet. This is the notorious image Geller was murdered for disseminating. Look carefully at this marriage made in hell and know they want to patent our flesh and blood. Democracy? The corporate lobbies control all. And the courts? They rule again and again in favor of the, quote, inalienable rights of the megacorps. But a corporation is not a person. Even if we seemingly suckle it like a mother's breast, a corporate body is a legal fiction. It's been forgotten that the history of our country, witness the Boston Tea Party, began with rebellion against corporations. I will now show you two sets of images. One concerning the personal front and the other, this planet that once felt like home. I apologize in advance for their poor quality. Since the Exxon Walmart Bank of America takeover of the federal government in 09, the behaviors recorded in these images have of course been outlawed. Commit these to memory. These activities were once a source of great pleasure. Landscapes like the following no longer exist, although some of you may vaguely remember them. They've typically been leveled and converted into chip farms or petro subnations. They're killing the beauty around us. The body of the earth is being eaten alive for profit. Oh. <laughs> Three months ago, the FCC ruled that mere possession of images like these would be punishable by amputation of a hand, foot, or eye, and replacement with a prosthetic. Last year, the Bechtel Merck Philip Morris conglomerate successfully lobbied the Corporate Congress to raise the price a hundred times for physical coupling permits. And of course, the genetic pretesting requirements remain the same. With the strengthening of the Fetal Rights Act, fetuses now hold short term positions on corporate boards and other corporal bodies. On all fronts, bedrock human values are clearly being turned on their heads, and we must. Jesus, they're jamming the signal. Can you see me? Can you hear me? They must be within 100 meters. There's no more time. It is your mission, and you cannot refuse, to forward this transmission, or alternately to make and distribute your own, for God's sake, to as many free, independent, biotic souls as possible. I pray to the ancient spiritual entities for your success. Long live free media! Power to biotic communities! Death to the corporate cyborg! Death to the... Uh